set up between two fields the last four or five days, at least three or four days. There's been a flock of turkeys traveling between these two fields out of this wood lot in front of me. Tomorrow is opening day of the adult turkey season here in North Carolina. It seems like it's been forever since I've done any videoing for you guys. Actually, the last thing I videoed was uh, the bow reviews that I did several months ago. So what I've got going on is I'm way back off of where I think the birds are going to come out of and where they're going to travel to. And I'm just going to sit back here, sit real still, and uh, hopefully sometime this afternoon that flock will come out and I'll be able to get a bead on where they go back in and where they're coming out because morning and afternoon they've been coming out and going back in pretty much the same spot. My ultimate goal is to kill one with my recurve this year, but I'm not 100% sure that I'm ready. When I get done doing this this afternoon, I'm going to go back home and shoot a little bit depending on how those shots go. It will depend on if I carry my recurve in the morning if I carry my bow backed up by my shotgun. So these birds are hard enough to kill as it is, and I usually only get one or two opportunities a year here behind the house to make it happen. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to sit here for the next couple hours. Uh, within like the next 20 minutes is about when they've been averaging coming out in the afternoon. So I got in here pretty good, I think. I didn't see any turkeys coming in. So hopefully I didn't spook anything, but fingers crossed. Hopefully the good Lord produces and allows me to kill a big old turkey in the morning. Spotting them this afternoon would really, really help me out. So we'll see what happens. guys well no sooner than I got set up like maybe at the most 10 minutes I had two gobblers come out right behind them was two hens and then after about 20 minutes of them being out in the field here come the big one big old gobbler came out right behind them and a, a jake also came out with him so Ended up being three big gobblers, a jake, and two hens. Not one gobble. And uh, now they're in the field over here next to me, so I think I'm going to swing out of here and go all the way around and try to pop up on the other side of that field and see if I can see where they go back in the woods. Whew, man, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to in the morning now, so... I'll see if I can sneak out of here. What I don't want to happen is I don't want them to swing back around and come through this wood line where I'm at. I don't want to spook them. So I'm going to try to cut way back out and uh, get back in behind them. So let's get out of here. All right, guys, opening day. Went out yesterday afternoon, you saw all that. Was able to uh, get on some big toms and uh, kind of get a pattern on them, kind of get a game plan for this morning. We're pumped. 
Nathan came over, decided to join. Who knows, we might get lucky and bust two of them this morning, so. Crazy thing of Hopefully it goes a little bit better than dropping my bow. Break your bow. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna the, the, the goal is to bust one with recurve. But don't you think I'm above shooting one with a shotgun out there at 60 yards? <laughs> or busting one with a compound? We got all three fire. We got a firearm, we got a compound, and we got a recurve. So something, if it comes by that blind, something's going to die today. Yeah. So. We can touch them. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can touch them no matter how far close they come. Yeah. Short of the 7 mag, we got the artillery in the blind this morning. So anyway, guys, we're going to hit the woods. We'll catch you when we get in the blind. See you when the sun comes up. Yeah, oh my lord, watch me sway, darkness falls and we all pray, hoping for the light of day, down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man, down to the river, down to the river. that turkey come from he had to have been roasted right there I don't know that he didn't like the calling or it 
just didn't see it in or what the deal was. But anyway, something he didn't like. He just stayed out about 80 yards from us and went on down the field. And uh, unfortunately, never presented a shot. Well, when he got down and got far enough away, I decided to try to get out of the blind and see if I could pop him and get him to turn and come back with this uh, half strut decoy. But he was already out of the field before I got over there or got out where he could see me. So anyway, it's cool. At least we're seeing something. Turkey season's off to a good start, though. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good bird. It's a good time. But uh, anyway, we're ready now, so maybe we'll get one to come through here now that we're ready. I didn't even have an arrow in my recurve. I guess I need to put an arrow in my bow. We didn't have the shotgun loaded. <laughs> I mean, we weren't ready at all, so. We were just hanging out in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, well, I just about forgot. No, uh, opening day, opening season, prayer. So, that's probably why we didn't kill that bird. Anyway, I heard two shots off in the distance and it made me think, I was like, darn, I ain't even done the prayer this morning. So, anyway, here we go. Lord, please forgive us for our sins. Lord, we're thankful for everything you blessed us with. We're thankful for you allowing us to come out here and enjoy your creation and giving us jobs that we're gonna, we can afford our hobbies and we can afford the way of life that we like to live. We thank you for blessing us in each and every day. We ask that you bring them turkeys that they're shooting at back this way. And uh, anyway, we thank you, Lord. We're so thankful for everything you give us. And, just be with this season and be with everybody that's out here turkey hunting and keep them safe. Allow them to have good luck. Be with the turkey population who we know has been in a decline. Just help that bounce back. And uh, just keep us safe. Keep everybody safe throughout this season. We thank you and we ask that you would give us the wisdom and the patience and what we need to do during this season that we'd, uh, we'd learn from it and we'd be better hunters we'd be better stewards of the land and we would just be better all around people and Christians um, through this season just be with us Lord and allow me to get one with my recurve I'd really like to get one allow Nathan and I to maybe double up this morning and uh, just allow your light and love to shine through these videos and through everything I'm trying to do on this channel we thank you Lord we ask us all in your name Amen Let's kill a turkey. We're gonna kill one now. They might all be dead. That's the third shot. The third shot in like the last 10 minutes. See you later. So, 
I want to end up like hunting solo just because I can. I feel like if I screw something up, it's my fault. I'm not hurting anybody else by doing what I, you know, making a bad decision or whatever. But also, sometimes it's nice just kind of hanging out here, enjoying God's creation by yourself. But then on the other hand, you know, it's awesome hanging out with your buddies, being in the blind like that. So, no turkeys in a while since that hen left the field. It is 9:15 right now, so getting later in the morning. I'm hoping that uh, maybe I can catch these birds moving back through midday. Still no gobbles. They're just not talking. Even the hen that came by, like we said earlier, was just so quiet. But having a good time, so hopefully we can get it done. sometime around the 1.30 or 2 o'clock time frame. So, unfortunately, it didn't make it happen this morning. But I'll see you when I get back in the blind. shooting that bow 
for shooting a bow with a face mask. I worry that when I shoot, it's going to catch and yank on it. So that's why you see me wearing the face paint, if you were wondering. So not the best turkey caller, but I try. I get better as the season goes on, but I definitely don't practice enough in the off season. Him, son! Yes! Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh man. Y'all. Oh man, I know I say it every time. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. Oh, opening day, turkey success. <laughs> This turkey came out of nowhere. Whew. <laughs> Ooh, man. I had to get my composure. Oh, man. I'm just sitting here on my phone.
I don't know what it is, guys. Whew. Every turkey I've ever killed back here, uh, I've been able to take up there and show my grandparents. And uh, it's been the first one I've killed since my grandpa passed away. last one I killed back here was in the same spot and uh, <laughs> I actually videoed it um, I videoed it when I walked in and showed my grandparents and it's one of the last videos I have of my grandpa alive and uh every now and then i'll go back and i'll look at it let's go see what the grandparents think hey, oh my <laughs> hey he's coming that way what y'all doing he's got a daughter's pull Oh no. <laughs> he never did turkey hunt a whole lot, but he always enjoyed when I walk him in there and showed him to him. So, this one's special, guys. Anyway, uh, big turkey down. We hunted this morning, me and Nathan hunted this morning in this spot. And, uh, we heard a bunch of shots after this turkey came in this morning and I thought for sure that that we weren't I wasn't gonna see anything this evening. I thought the turkeys that we saw the day before were probably the ones that had been shot, but they weren't. <laughs> just, just shot this turkey <laughs> at five yards, guys. That's how crazy and how fast it can be when you're hunting. I heard something to my right. And there's a trail right here beside of me where these turkeys come in and out of. And evidently this turkey heard my calling or I don't know if he heard my calling earlier or if he just was coming this way to check or what. But he saw that Jake decoy there and just absolutely started trashing it. That's the first time I've ever seen that hunting or turkey hunting. I've seen it on video, but that's the first time I've ever seen that. But Oh, man, guys, that is awesome. I appreciate you watching. Oh, I got to call my wife. I smoked one. Who are you with? It looks like a ninja warrior. You shot one? Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Good job. starting off on a good note first hunt and uh, got a big time on the ground so anyways guys that's kind of the moral of the story you get down on a hunt just like this morning we heard those shots and uh, I'm sitting here thinking all my turkeys are gone there's not that many around here um, this will be the only one that I shoot back here this year just because there's really not enough of a turkey flock turkey population seems to be really down in this area um but anyway this will be the only one i shoot for this year uh here i'm going to try to focus on getting one somewhere else hopefully maybe on some public land um because y'all all know that that's what i really really like to do is get out there and try to find stuff on that public land 
just because I can move around so much. That's really the main reason for me. It doesn't have anything to do with private versus public or anything like that. It's just the fact that you can move around so much. There's generally pretty good habitat depending on where you go. And uh, you can definitely get into the animals if you're willing to put the work in. So anyways, guys, gonna get this turkey out of here. Appreciate you watching. Uh, what I think I'm gonna start doing on these videos, I'm gonna go ahead and end my hunts with a prayer, just like I start them off. Um, just as a sign, a way to respect and honor the fact that God has given me this right and allowed me to come out here and have such an amazing time in his creation. This season, I really want to focus on the enjoyment of the hunt, uh, not so much the stress of getting a kill on film, just the enjoyment of the hunt, just being out here, enjoying creation. And uh, yeah, guys, so join me in a little bit of a prayer. Lord, I'm so thankful for you allowing me to be out here man I get emotional um, just thinking about how thankful I am uh, for the life you've blessed me with and the wife you've blessed me with and just allow me to come out here and do this and enjoy your creation Lord we're so thankful we thank you for all that Lord please keep everybody safe this hunting season keep everybody healthy please bless everybody with good hunts and uh, and a good enjoyment of your creation Lord, we thank you for everything you've done for us and the blessings that you continue to give us. Keep us safe, keep us healthy, allow us to know why we're out here and to uh, always do um, the best that we can to um, chase our passions and do them in a good uh, way to respect you and honor you in it. So we thank you for everything, keep us safe, amen. All right guys, thank you for watching. Oh, well, I about forgot this. Check this out. So, this is how awesome my wife is. I think I'm going to keep this thing and put it in one of my hunting, in one of my hunting pockets or something somewhere. Um, this was um, in my computer. My wife went to the beach yesterday. This was in my computer. And I, uh, I saw it last night when I got ready to check my trail cameras. And uh, it says, uh, it's a little note here that she wrote me. It says, thank you for all your love and support and always making me laugh. And uh, I decided I was going to bring it down here. <laughs> I was going to take a picture of it in the blind and post it. And... Uh, I was sitting there thinking about it and this turkey came out and you know it got a little bit torn in my pocket but man that's pretty special there I'm, I'm definitely going to keep that and put it somewhere I've just I thought about it there just a second ago and I was like man I got to show this this is funny it's all about what uh what marriage is all about guys she supports me and she knew I was going to be tired and out here pushing after these turkeys and uh, so she decided to write me a note to give me a little pep so anyway appreciate you watching guys remember to live your life to the fullest and use your passions to bless others if you have anything archery related uh, go check out the guys at Grafton Archery um, they always support me and uh, support what I'm trying to do on this channel and I appreciate that so go give them some support uh, if you want to buy some merch guys Check out the website. I'll link it down below. Just got this place locked up like Fort Knox. I went to the wrong door. <laughs> Did you just now get it? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, you are about as scary a looking <laughs> dog as I've ever seen. <laughs>